Hey, Shalom. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders, great millstone. Much love and respect to you brothers out there doing the work of sincerity and truth. I just want to go into a video real quick. Um, I'm going to go into Isaiah 31 and uh, read down. Just basically to show you, uh, I just saw that, uh, what was it, Prince Charles, uh, he contracted the coronavirus, all right, which uh, those, uh, those are the biblical Edomites that the Bible speaks of that are going to uh, be destroyed and uh, they're in rulership right now. All right, these so-called white men, Edomites. They come from your forefather, Esau. All right. So this is just a, a reminder, uh, you know, to those people that think that America can't be destroyed, NATO, um, you know, the powers that be. So this is Isaiah 31 and 1. Woe, woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many. Right. In America, you know, they have, you know, their allies. They got, you know, they're part of the, the NATO, North, North Atlantic Treaty Organization, you know, part of the EU, the United Nations, you know, and, and it's pretty much one of the feared, most feared, you know, armies in, in the world is the Americans, even though we know the other nations are rising up and they're not tolerating certain things, but they're still in uh, power right now. Okay. And then you got uh, so-called Negro Latinos and Native American Indians and, and the rest of you other nations that go to Egypt, which is a, a, another name in our time for America, which Egypt uh, means a house of bondage. All right. The double straits. Okay. Um, so it says, because they are many and horsemen, because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek Yahweh. Okay? Now, y'all, a lot of you uh, Negro Latinos and Native American Indians and the rest of the world, they're calling on Jesus Christ. All right? You're calling on Jesus Cristo. You're not calling on the, the proper name of the Most High and His Son, according to, you know, um, uh, Proverbs uh, 30, where it says, What is His Father? What is His name? Or what is the Father's name? In his, or. What is his name and what is his son's name if thou canst tell? So y'all people been uh, uh, lied to all y'all's life and thinking that y'all have the right names, but y'all don't, man. Okay? That's why the Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, those are the real names. Yahweh, the father's name and the son is Yahweh Shai. That's why he sent out certain men on the highways and the byways to tell you these things were coming, man. And that these people were not, are just men. America is just another kingdom that ruled with oppression and it's going to be destroyed just like all the other nations prior to it all the great kingdoms it says yeah he also is wise and will bring evil and will not call back his words that's right he's bringing evil to this place man bad times and he's not going to bring back his word he ain't going to repent like like he did in the time of uh, uh jonah and with nineveh all right, he's going to do it as in the time of uh, Noah. Okay? He's going to destroy the inhabitants of the earth by way of thermal nuclear destruction this time. He says, but, but will arise against the house of the evildoers and against the help of them that work iniquity. So even the ones that back up America, you're going to be destroyed. You two-third two Negro Latinos and Native American Indians that justify this place. Or want to see this place co to continue and prosper you're going to be as destroyed along with it man it says now the egyptians are men right those are in our time you know they're uh they're no in our time they're known as americans right caucasians you know biblically they're edomites okay but in here in uh, uh isaiah 31 he's, he's referencing them as the egyptians man because he, uh, Israel was in captivity under Pharaoh, you know, during the time of Moses, and they were under heavy bondage. And there's the same thing that's going to happen, that's going on right now. Okay, it says now the Egyptians are men and not the not God, and their horses' flesh 
and not spirit. Because the true power is up above, man. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and the angels. That's the true power. That's the power that nobody can touch nor destroy. Nobody can destroy Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and the angels, man. That's why Yahweh, Yahweh Shai said, fear the Most High. Or fear not men who can destroy the flesh, but fear the Most High that, can, that has the power to destroy the flesh and the spirit, man. You know? It says, when, when Yahweh shall stretch out his hand, both he that helpeth shall fall and he that is hopeless shall fall down. And they all shall fall to, fell together. And that's what's going on right now. Yahweh Bashim is stretching out his hand, man. Upon great Babylon Across the whole four corners of the earth From one end of the earth to the other end Alright It says for thus Hath Yahweh spoken unto me like as the lion And the young lion Roaring on his prey When a multitude of shepherds is called forth against him He will not be afraid of their voice Nor abase himself For the noise of them You know all the shouting All their uh their chantings or their incantations, you know, their witchcraft and their bewitching, you know, their sorcery. Okay, they're they're uh, we are we are uh, you know one people. You know, we are the the, the world type people ho holding hand in hand. The Lord don't care about none of that. He don't care how 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 loud you sing, uh, how loud how loud you sing unto. Uh. He don't care about none of that, man. You know? It says, So shall Yahweh of hosts come down to fight for Mount Zion and for the hill thereof. So Yahweh Bashim is going to come and fight for Israel, man. And protect them with a the mighty hand, stretched out arm as well. Simultaneously. As birds flying, so will Yahweh of hosts defend Jerusalem, defending also he will just deliver it, and passing over he will preserve it, you see? It's like the angel there in the Passover went over uh, Egypt and spared Israel and, and the rest he put them to death. You know, the Egyptians, the firstborn. All right. So I just wanted to bring that out real quick. Y'all brothers out there, stay strong. Till next time, I want to say Shalom.